On this episode of Rain's Indie Spotlight, we're going to be taking a look at Assault Android Cactus, which came out on November 7th for the Xbox One. It retails for $15 and is developed and published by Witchbeam. I want to thank them for sending over the code for the purpose of this video. Now, this game also is Xbox One X enhanced, all the way up to getting that 4K resolution for the game. Uh, so what exactly is Assault Android Cactus? Well, that's pretty easy to answer. It is a arcade-style twin-stick shooter. Yeah, I know, there are a lot of those. <laughs> which is set in a vivid sci-fi universe. You play as Cactus. And she responds to a distress call and ends up stranded on a crippled space freighter under attack by its own robot workers. And that's about all the story you're going to get. There's a cutscene that sets up the entire story at the beginning. And that's all there really is. But what this game does well is its gameplay mechanic, the twin stick shooting. And it kind of ditches a core concept of the twin stick shooter, which is the lives. Normally when you get shot or you run into an enemy, you'll lose a live. And if you lose all your lives, well, you gotta start the stage over. But Assault Android Cactus ditches the live mechanic for a draining battery mechanic. So while you're playing through the levels, which there are quite a bit, there are five zones, four levels in each zone followed up by a boss fight, so there's a good amount of levels. But while you're blasting through all the enemies, picking up the little white bits, they drop so you can upgrade your main weapon. They also drop these battery icons these green batteries and you can see at the top of the screen there is a battery icon so the level keeps on going as long as that battery icon is charged once it reaches all the way to the end it's game over but since the enemies drop uh charges for the battery uh, at regular intervals you can keep the level going as long as it's charged and you can get shot a whole bunch of times and even go down and get back up up as long as you have uh, charging that battery the level will keep on going and I really enjoyed that mechanic now salt Android cactus also challenges you to think fast and keep the bullets flying because it blends the gameplay of Western style arena shooters with aspects of Japanese style bullet hell as you charge head first through transforming stages massive boss battles, and a collective cast of characters, right? So you start out with four different characters that you can choose from. Cactus, Holly, and a couple other ones I don't remember the names of right away. Each of them have two different weapons to choose from. There's the primary weapon, which you can just kind of spam, hold down the right trigger, and you can switch on the fly to your second more powerful weapon with left trigger, use it, and it has to kind of recharge because um, each enemy set that you'll come into will have harder variants of themselves and you'll want to use the you know more powerful weapon to take them down. So you kind of want to mix and match and find a android that is best suitable to how you want to play. Cactus has a machine gun that shoots straight forward and her secondary is a flamethrower. Holly has like a seeker weapon that finds the enemies and then she has a rock launcher as backup my personal favorite character starch kind of has a laser so you can stay back and she has homing missiles but there are nine androids and each of them plays a little bit differently which is pretty cool it kind of uh, changes up the aspects of the game now so when you're uh destroying all the enemies racking up the kill count getting the multiplier up this game also has a uh, leaderboard aspect to it each of the levels are rated by the points you acquire they'll give you a d a c b a s and s plus ranking and you'll be rated against your friends and also on a global leaderboard and the levels do get a little bit harder as you progress but the boss fights are where the true challenge comes in because those can be pretty difficult on your first try and each of the five zones features a pretty cool and in-depth boss fight at the end of it and those are kind of uh, for me, at least, the highlights of the game. And the game features a lot of different modes. It's not just the campaign mode with all the levels. It also has an, an Infinity Drive mode, which is just like a mode where you just keep on going 
forever. Um, there's an achievement to get to level 25, and let me tell you, it gets pretty long and pretty difficult. I believe I got to level 16. It features also a boss, boss rush where you can uh, just fight the bosses uh, one after another. And as for the achievements and things like that, uh, it's a pretty difficult thousand because of one particular achievement. You have to S plus all the levels in the game, which means you pretty much have to combo and never lose your, your combo from the beginning of the level to the end. So that makes it a pretty difficult thousand, but you can get about 700 pretty easily in the game. So in my opinion, I think the game is pretty good. It controls extremely well. Uh, it's actually uh, the colors and stuff. It's very vibrant, especially in 4K, because I had played it before the X came out, so I wanted to replay it again. Uh, it looks really well. It plays really well. Um, I do enjoy myself a good twin stick shooter, and it doesn't really overstay its welcome. It's very uh, short. I, I think I beat all 25 levels and all the bosses in roughly two hours, give and take, and I kind of replayed some sections afterwards. Um, so the $15 price point for the time you play, if you're a twin stick shooter fan, which I am, I think this is well worth the $15, but if you're not into twin stick shooters, then I would definitely recommend waiting for a sale. The game's good. It plays well. Uh, it looks good in 4K. There's a lot of different Androids that you can use to uh, play different styles. And I really do mean different styles. Each of the characters play completely different from each of the other characters. Uh, so you can kind of find one you want. It's just it's kind of short. There's no story. It's very much samey where it's just hold right trigger and just hope to get to the end and uh but if that sounds like a game you're interested in then check out assault android cactus add it to your xbox one x enhanced list for the low price of 15 dollars uh you'll get some gamer score out of it and you'll have a pretty good time i should also mention that uh you can play this game on local co-op I believe it is up to four players, but of course I have no one to play it with me, so I played it by myself. So for those of you who have uh, family members or kids, you can play with them uh, in the game. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this look at Assault Android Cactus, this review. I would give it a 7.5, and I'd recommend it to any fan of the twin stick shooter genre, as I think it plays extremely well. Anyways, uh, if you enjoyed the review, make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel for more content. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see everybody in the next video. Later, guys.